Ever since I was a kid, I was very much into aviation. I love to build airplane models. I love to uh, watch airplanes fly. I grew up in uh, Mexico, in a little town about 75 miles southeast of uh, Mexico City. There was a lot of playing out in the, in the open areas, playing with my brothers and sisters. We were a total of six. I think I felt like a calling. It was something that I always wanted to do. I was always wanted to fly. There's been uh, probably two assignments that were uh, special, the embassy in Guatemala and the embassy in Ecuador. My job there was to reach out to the commanders of the Air Force in Guatemala and Ecuador and to forge a relationship between the United States Air Force and the Air Force in Guatemala and Ecuador. Especially in Guatemala, where the relationship that I forged with the Air Chief got so close that our sons were best friends, our wives were best friends, and any time the United States Air Force, the United States government needed something from the Guatemalan Air Force, all I had to do was ask. The time that illustrated this the best was when President Bush visited Guatemala. As part of the receiving team, we had to not only establish the uh, protective air bubble, but we had to have uh, F-15s from the United States come down to fly CAP. All I had to do again was ask, can I establish a squadron of F-15s at your base in order to support this visit? And his answer to me, the Guatemalan Air Chief, was, what else do you need? The friendships that I made in those foreign air forces, I mean, is still with me today. I was in action in Somalia, Bosnia, Afghanistan, extracted our embassy out of Liberia. For a kid who was brought up in a foreign country to be able to not only defend the country, we have participated in just about every major operation that uh, we have had across the world in the last 15 years. Something magical in being able to do all the things that other people only dream of doing. So yeah, I think awesome pretty much sums it up.